Do you love lemongrass as much as I love lemongrass? Well, I love lemongrass and I love to grow it in my garden. I love it in my dishes when I'm cooking. I also love it for tea. I love to grow extra and then chop it up, dehydrate it, put it in jars and use it all winter. Well, I have a trick for you today that you can try to grow your own lemongrass. Uh, and it's very, very easy and I can't wait to share it with you. Hey everyone, I'm Julie Demakos, also known as The Gardening Girl. I'm so glad you can join me and I can't wait to share this trick with you so that you can grow your own lemongrass at home. Let's get started. Lemongrass can be grown from seed. It's available and I grow it. I definitely grow it. But the process of growing lemongrass from seed is a long one. You know, it takes about a couple years and if you don't live in a warm climate where you have like, if you don't have mild winters, if you've got cold winters like we do here, you definitely can't grow lemongrass outside and, and allow it to grow into a full-size plant because our season here, our growing season is too short. So for us here in the north, we need to grow our lemongrass in pots or pot it up from the garden at the end of the growing season, at the end of summer, bring it indoors and treat it like a house plant. Well, there's another way to grow it, which is much, much quicker, which will allow you to have a harvest of lemongrass in the first year. You can also use this technique if you're, you know, if you have mild winters, you don't need to grow them all from seed, but it's another alternative to growing them from seed. Now, don't get me wrong, I definitely grow lemongrass from seed because I don't mind, I love having Having them in the house in the winter time I enjoy that uh, you know when there's nothing to do in the winter I can enjoy my lemongrass growing at home and it's fun so I'm fine with that but if I want something more immediate what do I do I tell you I go to the grocery store and I get some lemongrass here's an example so this is lemongrass that I purchased at we have an Asian grocery store here and it sells amazing vegetables and so they sell these not as a single but they sell them as a tray of lemongrass. So what do you need to do? First thing that's really, really important. So you, if you buy lemongrass at the grocery store, you see it. Sometimes the bottoms are chopped off and all they do is just basically the stalk. It's the stalk minus the bottom. That is not gonna produce roots for you. So if you see that, you can, really can't do anything with it. All you could do is buy it and eat it. So if, but if you do take a look at the grocery store and keep an eye on ones that have a base like this. Okay, see how all these crowns are intact? So these are intact. That means the crown is still here. That means the heart of the plant is still here at the base. So this will produce roots. And the best way to do that is to take them, put them in a glass of water. Now you don't want to, you don't want them to be swimming. So don't fill the glass too high. Just cover the base and you know, it's about this much water before it goes in. So it's a little bit, it could go a little bit lower, but you know, if you're not watching and you don't put a lot of water in, it can dry out. So, you know, you wanna make sure that you have enough to cover the bottom, but you don't want it to be drowning because you don't want the water to go inside and rot it. So uh, what you do is you put it in a glass. I would change the water every couple days so it doesn't get gunky and stinky. And then just wait, put it in the window and these bases will produce roots. They'll produce roots. It'll take a little while, maybe a week or two, and from here, you're gonna start seeing roots coming out. Once you see the roots, you're gonna prepare a pot. And now because I have a lot now, sometimes I've gone to the grocery store and they don't sell them at this quantity. This was only because I went to the Asian grocery store. So our regular grocery store might have just two stocks. In that case, you can grow two in a pot. In this case, I wouldn't grow all these in one pot because they're gonna become big plants. So I may divide them into separate pots or I may get a big pot, like a big 12 inch round and then pop them in and that would be fine. That would be amazing actually, gorgeous container and then you can grow it outside it's in your flower garden and then you can bring it indoors and it's all in one, right? But if you don't have that size, you can do, depending on the size, if you have a four inch pot, I would do one. If you have a six inch pot, you can maybe squeeze in two, eight inch pot and on and on. So this is what you do. So once these produce roots, you fill your pot with soil, you dibble a hole, you can use your finger or use a dibber and then you just gently place them in because you don't wanna break the root system that you worked so hard producing. Just dibble them in, firm the soil around and only bury it this much. This is all you need. That's it. You don't wanna put them in too deep. You wanna make sure you cover the base and maybe just like that much. So just as the curve begins, that's all you need and that's it. Now they should, they will produce, they'll produce beautifully. You wanna put them in a sunny location. They do need full sun and you wanna make sure they don't dry out and, because lemongrass will dry out. So definitely keep it consistently watered. If you're having a dry summer, water it every day if it's outside. If it's in the house, you know, it's not as dry maybe and you can water it a little less often, but watch that soil, make sure it doesn't dry out. And then watch your plant grow and enjoy gorgeous lemongrass 
from store-bought. It couldn't be easier. So definitely keep an eye out. And even if you're not looking to grow lemongrass, but you see one of those crowns intact, which doesn't happen often at the grocery store, pick one up, put it in water, plant it, and you'll love, love, love it. It also makes a really great, if you're doing like a flower container and you, do, you need to have like that thrill that goes up the middle instead of putting like a spike or some other plant, you can use lemongrass. Lemongrass is a gorgeous centerpiece for a flower container. If you like my video, please be sure to give me a like and also please click the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified of any upcoming videos. Look forward to speaking to you all again really soon. Happy gardening, everyone. Bye for now.